how to use red notebook to take and keep notes on your desktop. In this presentation, I'll be showing you how to install red notebook and how to use it. So you st press the start button, go into the package manager and then give the root password. In the package manager, you look for red. Then you might see, I mean, there is no red notebook in the popular applications. So we'll click on the stable repository. It says stable repo here, red notebook. So you can see it's here it says red note. There is no red notebook here. And then now we're looking in the MX repository. It might be there. See here it is. It's in the MX test repository. So we do click. And we say install. So you can see here it says uh, the red notebook is already the newest version so it was actually updating and then it checked that it's already updated let me just check that again it's not in popular applications it is not in stable repo it is in MX repo just to see if it's in Debian backports and flat packs. It is in Debian backports and it's also might be in flat packs. Yep, so we have it in flat packs, Debian backports and in MX test repo. Okay. So after installing it, wherever one of those, actually it's better to install it from the left one first, which is the most uh, stable versions. And then to run it, you uh, look for RED and then you will see red notebook. I already have it in my system. So you, uh, this is what it look like. And you can, for any date, you can put in some notes or whatever you want. You can also format them. There is formatting like bold, italic, monospace, underline, strike through. And then you can insert a picture or file link title line date and time line break things like that anyway so and then you can preview it so basically the idea is like if you look at different days you can have notes for different days you can even search use this as a search okay in red notebook you can even search so if I say test for example or test it will search for all of the things related to um, the word test in all the previous notes so you can see my notes go all the way down to something like 2012 but there are some gaps it doesn't really matter but the, if you have gaps in between but basically for every day like if I say 2022 and I take the years back you can see on different years even until okay now see if I'm in 2010 if I say forward it'll go into 2012 which is like the first door actually 2011 so that's how it works so in if you see that there is a note there it'll be in bold that there is something for that date and it puts all of this information in separate files and it also has a backup like if you you can create these red notebook backups so by the way it will uh, ask for a backup like every i think a week or so yeah every week it will uh, remind you of a backup maybe there is a setting i i might have done yeah, in preferences, it might have a backup setting. See, here it is. Let me see if there's a backup setting. No, it doesn't. Maybe it's just automatic that it will do the backups. So every week, it'll ask you, do you want to do a backup? And you can create a backup. That way, all your notes will be saved if you have your backup files in another computer, even if your hard disk fails. But the idea is, uh, you can, like if you're running this program in the background or something, you can, whenever you want to, like if you're doing something, you can always uh, 
put nodes here no matter what it is like if you have um, for example this file or a, I'll open it with K right there okay right I'll just open this file for example it's like a basically recording of a script so if I wanted to copy this I'll say copy I'm going to my red notebook and I'll say paste first I have to double click to turn on the edit and then I'll say right click paste and it'll paste that stuff over there you can paste also your unicode that means in different languages characters even chinese arabic any kind of script urdu so all of those text can be pasted here so Thank you. 